Welcome everybody. Nico Scarlet Moon here with your Path Watchers report on the incoming wave that will be here to stay for all individuals, groups, collectives, and experiences. For the third week in a row we have the sun. The fact that this is presenting for the third time regarding a wave that is here to stay is testament to its growing intensity. This continuation and amplification of the energies of this transition is getting quite profound. The displacement frequency and return to soul family is in full swing. And that, in and of itself, is expanding and evolving. Starting now, there is a release from contractual spiritual attachment, illustrated by the Hermit, to allow for development and evolution through true organic, non-karmic connection at a soul level. Remember, soul groups are not connected through contracts or stories. Oversoul connections are not mandated through records, nor any form of past life continuity. Of course, soul families share past life experiences and stories, but they are natural, organic occurrences. In fact, this wave sees a major dismantling of soul contracts and contract structures. Soul contracts shown to be detractive, limiting, or in any way an interference to conscious evolution are now dissolved and abolished. This is occurring at the highest oversoul level, with much assistance and oversight at the angelic level. This applies to individuals as well as groups. In fact, many who have already felt into these waves will be needing to make room for new additions this week. I continue to deeply welcome the return of my soul family. I have a video discussing oversouls for those who are curious. Links below. In the beginning, this process may be uncomfortable and perhaps a disturbance to some who may not be familiar with this new dynamic or understand the light behind it. It is a much more quick, healing, and elevating adjustment for those who move and shift with this flow. Much more than the alternative. Without judgment, step back from any internal or external pressures to postpone this transition by re-engaging, reattaching, or reprocessing looping cyclical experiences, false narratives, stories, and agendas. This is an incredibly high vibrational autonomous light doing this work. Embrace. Remember, this is medicine. This is grace. True soul family reunions will continue to occur more and more from now on. Freedom from that which will not go or let go is much easier now. Not only that, but beginning now, detrimental attachments and pervasive instances of stagnation will be completely dissolved, as the reordering of freedom from old agreements substantiates on all levels. This dismantling will be allowing all beings to be free of obligation to uncomplimentary contracts and stories in order to fully embrace those which are pure and organic on the soul level. Okay, Pisces, now that we've had a chance to look over the incoming wave that's going to be landing this week, remember, here to stay, not for a short while, but here to stay for all populations, not just one sign. Let's actually see how it actually affects you or how it changes things up when it comes to your experience and how it's landing for you this week. Well, for your archetypal themes, we actually have the Temperance card upright. And what's interesting about the Temperance card is that uh, one of the things I'm sensing from this is that we've got sort of a, uh, a, a collecting kind of motion going on here. For some reason, I am drawn to uh, the girl actually collecting the, the, the water in both jugs, almost like she's pulling them together with these jugs. But at the same time, what's happening is that there's a collecting and there's also a recovery or a reconstruction, a gathering and a fixing, a gathering and a mending and a healing that's coming forward here. And of course, that could absolutely go back to what we talked about in the incoming wave when we talked about right displacement and reunion, the dissolvement of soul contracts, and then people coming in to replace this and that. But also with the Temperance card, I'm actually seeing uh, kind of collecting up pieces of things that you need to actually breathe new life into. But also 
with the gathering and the recollection, we have an opportunity to maybe even begin things anew, or maybe begin things the proper way. You see, with the Temperance card, I'm actually seeing an opportunity to blend or create something that was not properly created, blended, or nurtured before. And with the Temperance card, this could absolutely mean, yes, the, you know, people coming in to actually help something get built, but built properly, free of distortion, discord, agendas, and all of that kind of stuff. And also, at the same time, start to actually pull in that sense of true soul family, as we have been talking about. And that's going to be infusing every aspect of your life this week. Where are we gathering? Where are we healing, mending, and recollecting for the purposes of not just holding them together, you know, between our jug here, uh, but also inside our jug here, but also at the same time, allowing this to be something that can actually substantiate as a true and beautiful creation, as a true and beautiful life experience or collection of experiences. So for those of you that have been feeling maybe um, we, we've not necessarily had a true feeling of adventure or, or something picking up traction for a while, or for those of you that feel like maybe there was a wrong turn that we made, or maybe there's something going on where we'd like to recollect or reconnect or maybe gather or attract in, yes, that's soul family. Remember, contract free, soul family is organic. This is something that ultimately is your biggest support at this time, and it, you're, you're, it, it's going to be with you for a while. Now, as we get to news and arrivals, we have the King of Swords upright. And with the King of Swords, it does look like so there is going to be some kind of help coming your way. I am seeing somebody... It's weird. They're kind of coming in. They're offering assistance. And don't take this as a slight because the King of Swords can sometimes communicate this way. There's some kind of message where they're like, look, are you ready to do this the right way? And please refrain from commenting before I finish speaking. I hate it when people do that. They're just, it doesn't make any sense. The, <laughs> the King of Swords upright is ultimately talking about an opportunity to achieve a major goal or a major creation uh, aspiration that you have that requires us to maybe abandon an expectation, a bit of protocol, or maybe even what we expected the process to be. Now, with the King of Swords, in a lot of cases, um, it, it does feel like this is somebody who knows what to do, knows how to do this, and is going to basically lift you up and carry this thing up with you. They want to see this succeed. You may be getting a chance at this time to maybe even um, get the benefit of doing this all on your own with maybe their, their help or their oversight, because I'm, what I'm getting from the King of Swords is they're not like recruiting you to help out with their thing. This is something that they want to actually see you build and see you create, but there is something that maybe uh, was distorted or, or once again, maybe just a piece of, you know, too much sort of old paradigm density in the last attempt at this that needs to go. And with the King of Swords upright, we have that help, we have that expertise, and we actually have... Uh, somebody kind of setting you back on that path or a better path this week. As we get to material and business concerns, it looks like with the Knight of Swords upright, there is somebody who is offering to maybe uh, eliminate something from your life that maybe we didn't know we were dealing with or we didn't know was a problem. I am seeing with the Knight of Swords sort of a surprise act of heroism in some way. Possibly, yes, somebody coming in to help us out, whether it's a, a new friend or maybe an old friend, a new soul kindred, or somebody that we already know to be our soul kindred, seems to be uh, really, and you know, when you know, you know, you're not asking questions. Um, and with the, with the Knight of Swords, there is something coming up here where this breakthrough does kind of give you a bit of a launch, financially, professionally, creatively, because this Knight of Swords does not do things slow. This could absolutely be a dream opportunity to sort of uh, 
segue in to a new type of work path, career path, creative path. The Knight of Swords is all about protecting you this week, it looks like, or at least securing some kind of uh, protection for you, or maybe even a material or resource concern. But ultimately, it's all about the help. It's all about the gathering, the reconnection, and the recollection of all of these assets and all of the things that work while also attracting more of what will be a complementary inclusion to your experience. And so the Knight of Swords is really going uh, over above and beyond the Call of Duty this week. And I really like that because this could actually be somebody who, you know, would slay a dragon for you or somebody who has, you know, proven to, you know, show their ability when it comes to maybe surmounting weird or bizarre challenges. But what I like about this is that even if it's somebody new, they will prove that to you as well. Now, as we get to love and relationships, we have the Four of Swords in reverse. And this week there does seem to be a lot of overnight shifts going on in relationship patterns, relationship sensibilities, and I'm actually seeing with the Four of Swords reversed, it's not actually something negative. Sometimes we can get a bit of a challenge or a bit of a, uh, you know, a bit of a eh with this here, uh, but it does look like with the Four of Swords in reverse, this could be an overnight shift for the better, and this could be something where a lot of you Pisces are kind of having a, a bit of a relationship awakening, so to speak, or even a partner's having a relationship awakening. An, an overnight change in maybe uh, taste, yeah, sensibility, uh, desires, likes, dislikes, what we want for our relationship or for our family, what we don't want. Everything is shifting up because people are suddenly honoring what they are, tr what is true to their nature, and with the Four of Swords reversed, kind of ditching or abandoning things that were sort of, um, well, maybe, you know. And I feel like with the Four of Swords reversed, a lot of you who are currently um, available and looking are also going to be experiencing something that starts off kind of quickly, somebody new that really throws off your whole uh, relationship paradigm, what you normally bring to the table for people. But I want you to go with it. I want you to go with it because it may actually be something that is not only a lesson, but a gift at the same time. So that is your horoscope. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hey, y'all know I appreciate it. And should you ever want to get a session, go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com.